Underneath the hood is a Proteus 2000 synth engine. Actually, I should back up, the Proteus 2500 synth engine. So it has our new faster processor, new cleaner outputs. It's a 64 voice machine. It has four uh, analog outputs, and you can route the sounds uh, uh, into uh, whatever preset you want through those outputs. It's 16 part multi timbral. And on the back, there's a nice little handy hatch door on the back that allows you to expand the ROMs, which is underneath. So four screws, and you could expand the, the PK6 with any of our 13 uh, ROM boards, including uh, custom flash. So uh, if you have an E4 Ultra, you could burn your own uh, ROM sounds and stick them in this box. Uh, it's 61 note package. Uh, this section over here gives you uh, real time control over 16 key parameters. You got four knobs and four little switches allow you to get to each of these really quickly. This is what we call quick edit. If you choose a sound and you, let's say, go to filter cutoff, you move that knob, that allows you to edit the sound without ever having to go in through any complicated menus or deep edit uh, uh, menu trees. Once you do that, you'll notice the save light just came on. I can hit save, wham, my sound's done. Now, if you want to get a little more into the edit engine, you just the, hit the preset edit button. And these buttons over here will now take you to all the uh, edit pages on the preset. So once again, we did a quick filter cutoff. Let's say I want to see the filter and I want to change the filter type. I press the filter button and I can see I've got a uh, swept uh, octave EQ filter. Let's say we just want to go for a low pass filter. I have a choice of 50 different filter types. And the L1 stands for layer because each preset has four layers. So this allows you to do complex uh, preset programming. You can layer pianos and strings. You can split piano and bass. You can do that up to four times. Actually, you can, if you hit links, you can do that uh, multiple times. So we can link to other presets. Uh, key button you should know know about the main button. No matter where you're at in the in the, in the uh, product, you hit the main button that takes you home. So a lot of times, there's a lot of times you get in keyboards, you're pressing buttons, you're not sure where to go. Here you just hit main, you're back where you want to be, you hit and play in sounds. The two buttons up here allow you to select the MIDI channel you're playing on. You've got a preset select over here where you can take it to any of your 16 favorite presets and that can be changed. And those are stored in what we call a multi setup. And we have 63 different multi setups, including a factory setup. And this allows you to, on a gig, be able to bring up your favorite presets very quickly and, uh, and allow you to uh, play them fast. Uh, each preset comes with Audition. There's also, our, each preset can have an arpeggiator playing, and that's, uh, that means 16 arpeggiators at once. Uh, so it's very, very easy to use. It's like we talked about, it has a high fidelity of the P2500, uh, and it's got to add a great price point. So this is the MK6. It uh, functions identically to the uh, PK6 that we just saw. Uh, the main difference is the sound sets and the art patterns and the beats and grooves that it comes with standard. Uh, it also has expandable ROMs on board, so you can go and buy other ROM boards and stick them in. Um, um, like the MK, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, geared towards a, tip, tip, uh, a genre of music, and this is more the synthesizer type guy. It comes with all kinds of fat leads and, and heavy synth sounds stuff that uh, any analog guy would love to have with the uh, with the value of 64 notes polyphony multi timbral and once again expandable roms this uh, the beats and grooves that come inside this box are here a little bit more towards techno electronic music